of us celebrated Thanksgiving today or are currently celebrating a little differently this year because of COVID. But MTN's Coulter Anstead introduces us to one local family who chose to have a traditional in-person gathering. I think it's done. In Angelica Kinder's house in Great Falls, spending time with family, not worrying about the coronavirus, is what's most important. Some family you don't see year-round. Um, Sometimes you only see them once a year, and it's usually during the holidays. Kinder planned to gather together with family members, some from out of town, to share a meal. She says celebrating virtually was not an option. None of my family, extended family, don't have a way of doing virtual. Even if they did, she'd still get everyone together. To be clear, the CDC is not explicitly saying you shouldn't have in-person holiday gatherings. Rather, health officials simply say celebrating a holiday virtually is the safest option. If you are going to have an in-person event, there are steps the CDC recommends you take. They include having a small outdoor meal with people who live in your community, talking with guests ahead of time about expectations, and limiting the number of guests. It's like they want to run our lives. Um, it's like they think they're the boss, like we work for them when we don't. Kinder's mother is not worried about the family getting sick as a result of gathering together. It's not like it's... 15, 20 people. You've not made enough food for about 20 people. <laughs> Regardless, getting together with her daughter was very important. This is the first Thanksgiving my daughter's ever spent with me. Freezer? Mom? My parents divorced when I was younger. A global pandemic keeping so many people apart also bringing people together. In Great Falls, Coulter Anstat, MTN News. And many people are likely feeling thankful tonight after receiving a free Thanksgiving meal from the Great Falls Rescue Mission. Now, normally a sit down meal is offered to the community, but because of COVID, people were given a meal to go. Now, the mission prepared 600 meals, not knowing exactly how many people would show up. 200 of those were served to those staying at the mission. The director said finding a way to serve the community amid the pandemic was important. There's so many people that are in need right now. Um, Pandemic's done a number on a number of families, number of individuals. You know, if we get 400 people out here, we'll hit our 600. And if we don't, we'll be eating leftovers for a while. <laughs> and the rescue mission also set up a drive-through on Tuesday and handed out meals for families to take home and cook.